On Stage's Reggae Month feature, Sing the Icon, is brought to you in part by the Ministry of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport and by Red Stripe Tall Boss, the same red stripe now available in another size. Welcome to another in our Reggae Month series, Sing the Icon, that engages two established recording artists in an exciting sing-off of the gems of a reggae icon. I'm on Zion. That icon in this edition I really hear in your is no other than Marcia Griffith's CD. Oh. Also gracing our stage is the son of Reggae King, Bob Marley, Julian Marley, where the samples of his soon-to-be-released EP. And where is Moses I, whose crazy look collaboration with Capleton gave him a place in reggae internationally? Moses I will be here. Burning Coming up, right here on our stage, welcome to the show everyone, I am Winford Williams, we'll be right back. On stage with Winford Williams. On stage's Reggae Month feature, Sing the Icon, is brought to you in part by the Ministry of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport and by Red Stripe Tall Boss, the same red stripe now available in another size. This is where we find out where exactly in music is Moses I, the artist who in 1998 gave us this collaboration them should have know. Yeah, man, the of Moses, I, them should have know. with the fireman keep it on the closest we have come to Moses I in recent time <laughs> was at Rebel Salute a week ago yeah <laughs> but he's right now right here on our stage to tell us more Moses I yeah, man. blessed love sir blessed love you know congrats on that performance at Rebel Salute. Yeah, man, give thanks for the blessings, you see it? Yeah, man, it's a long while, you see it? It, it, yeah, it appears to have been uh, taken as, like, art. It appears to be a, a resurrection of your career not in, a, in Jamaica, in Yeah, it's locally. not really like a decade. <laughs> like, them I ask you, yeah, <laughs> what, yeah. where were you all this time? Are people asking you that? Naturally, naturally. You know, yeah. a lot of people still... Um, Asking me if it's still me do that song crazy look with the fireman still in Jamaica cause too they didn't really see we perform it on any big major show, you know? Yes. In Jamaica anyway, because we perform it a lot of places, you know? In yes. Europe and stuff. Because it catapulted you into international music, yeah. reggae music. Yeah, naturally, you know. Touring all over. Yeah, man, for real. So uh, we, you know, um and a natural with us be a creative person, yeah, so we create a lot of different stuff now, so you know. So were you living offshore for a while or anything? Yeah, well, we keep moving, you know, we keep, you know, we're in the country sometime and we're there in Florida sometime, yes. New York sometime and things. So, you know, may I say we have home a lot of different places, you know? Okay. Yeah. So this project now that you're promoting, talk about it for us. Yeah, well, naturally this song is called um, I Could Make You Dance. So we are bringing back forward the dancing vibes to the people them and things. And, Look at happiness, you know? So mm -hmm. we come with a happy feet right now for the people, you know what I'm saying? And this song is like, my label now is called Live On Music Production. Yes. And I it really a focus within this time now mm -hmm. to see if we can help out some youths to you know, the struggle, but we want to be more conscious, you know? Yeah. All right, so, so let's take it right. So from crazy look 
Mm. Which was about a girl. <laughs> I told, I can make you dance. The music right there of the man himself, Moses I, on our stage. Yes, sir. Not so, so yeah, explain this record for us. Yeah, man, well, you don't know, it's a creative vibe, so we think oh, we can create more mm -hmm. joy in the music and thing, and so, you know, I kind of like that um, disco feel from them 70s mm -hmm. day and stuff, so, you know, I'm just in my studio, I create and thing, so the vibes will jump up within the levels and it just come, you know? Okay. Not sad, you know? Cool, and how is it being received so far? Well, the people them love it everywhere, you know, because they just see me as like a kid again, you know, mm -hmm. within this time, you know, so... It's like people never know me can dance like that, so you know it's a vibe. So <laughs> really, they as yeah, like a dance see, teacher. We right see your regiment. We see an IG. Oh, I call in the dance of them, you know. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes, see, yes. Yeah, the, the young, the Big young up dancer, my dancer, they are with me too, you know. Yes. Yeah, man. So is this a part of a wider project? Yeah, well, naturally, you know, because we have a lot of stuff we we'll create in our more international fields, but we do deep. Reggae music still, now. we have the roots and everything within the levels, but it's like we want to bring a happiness now to yes. the music because, you know, we have our roots and culture vibe deeply from a longer time. But now we think at the time when we just want to hold a jive for bring forward the minds of the people in a more joyful way because yes. it's like too much violence and cruelty have come out in you know, INI music and it can't get to reach the people them to that dimension because the people them don't really want to hear certain things in you know, the party like far out in you know, the world you know they want to hear more joy and love so people take reggae dance all reggae turn it become and they sing happy songs on it you know what i say and then the party them when i go south beach other places the, the, there's a lot of reggae tans playing you know and it's like they, they push reggae aside because it's like we we got to promote more consciousness in mm -hmm. the music, you know? So you're part of that mission yeah. to, re, to, to, to resuscitate yeah. the one love you know? in reggae. Yeah, man, natural. And within the reggae music too, yeah. um, more, more I like to see more creation in the roots part of the music. Yes. You know, we don't, we, we, we don't need to lick over the old rhythm them. We need to start create around the voice of the artists. Yes. You understand me, for create, for, for make the tree grow. Mm -hmm. You understand me? So it's like, we need music for kind of have more creation in night because we don't want to do recycle. Mm -hmm. We can't recycle our rhythm and think we, we're going ahead, you know? It may think we, we need for just step up to the game. I'm, I'm, I'm right. sure we can. Yeah. The creative energy in us is, is Not immortal. So. Not so, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, man. I mean. so, so, you know, it, there's people for just rise to the occasion and stop looking for, for, for a quick fix. Yes, not you know what I mean. Because no, the music is so vast, but we need more consciousness. No. Because Jamaica is the eye of the world. You see what I say? And now we come for really give the people them the real satisfaction out of music. You know, yes, I. David and the app from them Iowa there. You know? And we have to continue to, to support. Yeah. And we just want to bring forward our conscious vibes of the music too, because it's like we've been suffer. We've been brainwashed. We've been enslaved. We bring a different music. Reggae music come from with suffering and mm -hmm. tribulation we'll face, you know? And then we can be a headline, you know, for the highlight the next generation for come. So we need more positive energy. We're forever grateful to soldiers like you, my friend. Yeah, man, I don't know. On the front line. Well, as even that, when man. we're not seeing you, you're out there. Yeah, man, natural. Because we're from like Bob Marley days, picking up ball for Bob Marley over university. Yes. One time Skill Call used to have a um, artist team around him and stuff like that, you know. We go around Augustus Pablo for one of our first set of producer, Sangi Davis, Gilbert, you know. Cool. Yeah, so... So, so like, how do you feel about this celebration, the Reggae Month celebration in Jamaica? Well, it's a great vibe to start forward, to hold back forward a consciousness after even COVID, you know, and this level still is the first step to it. But you know, say, even in Jamaica, we need a strong foundation for ground reggae a little further, even for the, for the generation that pass, mm -hmm. you know, and these younger generation that come in now, you know, we think the music need a, a lot of principle in it and a lot of details where we need to set properly, you know, for, for make the music more of a conscious vibe. We need a root mm -hmm. to start from. Yes. You understand me? Because if people come from anywhere over the world right now, it's just the product that even Bob said 
And we give so many thanks that someone did even they here we could have set a strong foundation where even tourists can come and go somewhere mm. when they talk about reggae. But we need to set up something internationally uh, for Jamaica. Yeah. Yes, I. Yeah. Moses, I, sir. Blessed. Look. Blessed no, chat, my Jake. All right. Give thanks. We look forward to when you return. Yeah, man. Because we promise that that time you will you will perform for us. Yes, naturally. And, I would have, and hopefully we'll nice enjoy thing. some of the energy we saw during the salute, Reggie. Yeah, man. That's to get no? reproduce some of that for the for, for our viewers around the world. Yeah, man. Give thanks for having us here. You know. Yes, sir. That's the far I live. Blessed love. Blessed Great love. to have you, my friend. Yeah, and man. it's good to see you, man. Yeah, man. See you looking ready see, and you know? still. Agile and ready for this. Yeah, natural and blessed because you see, Rasta is about herbs, and mm -hmm. I think that we need to do to know how, what is for sickness mm -hmm. and can find the herbs to heal people. You know, yes, that sir. is what herb about. Let's That's see, love. I live. <laughs> All right, so there you have him in this segment of our show, mm -hmm. forever on the battlefield for reggae around the world, Moses I, yeah. and stay with us still to come. Sing the icon. The first lady of reggae, Marcia Griffiths, Nadine Sutherland, and Itana. Wow. And also coming up, the son of reggae king, Bob Marley, Julian Marley, on our stage. On Stage with Winford Williams. On Stage's Reggae Month feature, Sing the Icon, is brought to you in part by the Ministry of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport and by Red Stripe Tall Boss. The same red stripe now available in another size. Julian Marley joins us right now, right here on our stage to chat his soon-to-be-released EP and to also drop a single from that EP, right now, right here on our stage, Julian Marley. Bless it, love. Bless it, love. Once again. <laughs> yes, sir. It's good yes. to see you, sir. And yes, sir. congrats on the new project. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're celebrating Reggae Month. Yeah. Uh, how do you? How does it impact you? Why well, Reggae Month? I mean, for me, it's Reggae every day. So to have Reggae Month, as we say again, you know, it, yes. the impact is so. It's bringing more enlightenment to me every day as to be able to keep that reggae music alive, to keep making that positive, keep putting a message into the music. Yes. And, you know, asking, you know, even other musicians to learn, other singers to learn to play an instrument. Because mm -hmm. that's how we enhance the reggae, you know. Yes, yes. So it's very important, you know, to celebrate our heritage, which is reggae music, and this is reggae month, so. Absolutely, yeah. and yeah. The, uh, the biggest icon in our music is the king, your father, my friend. I did too. Yeah, and so it must be, you guys being called all over to, to, to do things, to appear, to... No, I mean, yeah. from time to time, not every time. Like, um, for me, being here just happened to be in Jamaica at this moment, mm -hmm. that we can partake in some of the festivities. Yes. But sometimes you're on the other side, or you, you know, on the other side of the world, are traveling and doing some shows somewhere else, and we are not here in Jamaica, you know, celebrating that reggae month. Okay, people. it's it feels so better at home, right? Yes, definitely. The Jamaican vibe is different from. De definitely, definitely. Yes, because yes. we know it's it's all over the world that people are celebrating. But to be a home where it really comes from and be celebrating, you can't beat that. Okay, jump into this EP for us. It's yes. the first big project since your album. True, true. Which, how, how did that album do before we go into the EP? Well, you know, it's a great album. Um, I would like to say at that time, a lot of things was happening in my life, you know. Mm -hmm. So like, say, as soon as the album was released, you know, we were faced by some, you know, serious issues, family issues, you know, mm -hmm. that we had to deal with, you know, as losing one of my daughters at the time. Oh, wow. So as soon as it was released, then we were supposed to start the tour to promote, and then, so it was good, you know. It's so a great me, album. album. For me, the album the still is to be it's still, still it's there. It's still, be okay. <laughs> yeah, because, yeah. I mean, at the last, I saw you perform tracks from it on, on the cruise. Yes. 
And that was wicked, Reggie. Ah, give thanks. That was well received by everyone, actually. Ah. But for me personally, it was, it was a, quite a, an eye-opener to uh -huh. the, the depth of, of the music that you presented. Give me thanks. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, in Jamaica, we don't see that kind of big band, full, full set coming from our artists enough at all. Ah, home. that one that aches you know me I mean? very bad, man. That's what we need. The more yes. we have that, is the more, you know. You have to go our way over and into Europe to see a great reggae show from our same reggae musicians, but we're not playing here, we're playing somewhere else. Absolutely. So that is something we're kind of, you know. And, and the closest we come sometime, we have a, a rebel salute doing it. Yeah. Yeah, but the cruise, Jamra cruise, man. Definitely, that, that does is, it. That is it. <laughs> Because, I mean, the level of, it's not to compare with local shows, even some fest, reggae some fest and so on. But when it's, it, when it's on the cruise, my friend, it's, it's a whole different experience. And that experience includes um, a whole, the, 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 the entire globe is like on one ship. Because your fans, are, the fans of the Jam Rock cruise, they're coming from everywhere yeah. around the world. And it's like, you know, it's like for me, being a, a lover of the reggae from day one to, mm -hmm. to, to, to present day and to be able to go on the cruise and to see a lot of your favorites from yes. Yes. Max, whoever you want to call, I mean, not Max Romeo, but from, the, from that era yeah. to this era, you know, you have all of that, that celebrities. And, and yeah, the full sets. They're King doing their Jammies, full sets. You, have, yeah. you know, so it's definitely a different experience than coming, you know, than you catching one show because that's like four days. Yes. Shows. Yes. We are all <laughs> trapped on a ship. But <laughs> we had to, we had to yeah. get along. We had to get and along. And enjoy ourselves. Had to. I give praise to the music, Reggie. It's, yes. It's unbelievable, man. That, true. That is a, that's a column now in reggae. Yes. Uh, you know what I mean? And we hope it can continue forever. Yes. The generations to come can, 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 can enjoy such a coming together. Yes. Because yes. I can't see any other option where. Uh, you know, yeah. there are so many of the fans of the music, people are coming from all over the globe who love the music no, it's true. to be in one place. It's true. You know what I mean? Yes. So, and and you're, 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 you can't jump off. You can't jump <laughs> you off. You have to stay in the course. You better enjoy yourself. <laughs> enjoy yourself. <laughs> have a positive and, vibe. You know? <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, jump into your EP for us now and, uh, yes. and tell us about, and, and rap what you can about it for us. Well, it's something different, um, different kind of style, you know. And for me, I'm a lover of music. Like, I love all kind of music. You know, the only problem I have really is what are we saying in the music. Yes. You right. know, but when it comes to rhythm and groove and beats and sounds and instruments, we love every sound, you know. Mm -hmm. So I've been a lover of a um, little bit of Afrobeat. And, you know, we love little hip hop. We love all kind of music. You know, we love little dancehall, you know. But obviously, everyone knows me as Roots, yes. which I am always Roots. So even though if you see me in a different style, it's still Roots, you know. But this, roots is this the root. <laughs> is the root. Roots is the root. <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But um, yeah. this album is a bit different, you know. It's not, it's not, as the, it's not how you would normally hear me, mm. which just shows the, 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 the different styles that I love and stuff that we fool around with behind the scenes mm -hmm. that nobody knows. So now we're putting out stuff that we do behind the scenes that no one knows. Okay. That, oh, I didn't know you, 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 you like that kind of rhythm there. I, I mean, never know you mm. can sing on this or that. But it's something like that, you know, it's called Colors of Juju. Ah, oh. So that means it's a different color. Roots is one color, and we put all the colors in together, and you, you know, it's the vibration, you know. The musical colors yes. of Juju. And we're taking a message to the four corners of the earth. Yes, so I. in different style, because you have some people that don't listen this, they listen that. So if you don't listen to this, we will give you some of that. Mm -hmm. With the same message that we put in everything, you know, the same okay. ingredient. All right, so let's, let's take a, a, a track from it right now. No matter the heavy load, these wheels gone I suppose you'll be touring and promoting that after March, when it, when, when it is released. Yes. Where are some of the places you're likely to be seen? Well, likely to be in the US, um, mm -hmm. Europe, um, South America. Mm -hmm. I want to be here in Jamaica, because like we say, I haven't done a full feature show yet here. Yes. But oh. hey, we can wait somewhere. Okay. <laughs> you know, but 
Yeah, we plan to be, you know, we have some plans coming up now, finalizing, nothing f finalized fully yet, but planning to make, you know. The African continent? Definitely, is mm -hmm. a part of it. Yeah. Part of it. Well, sir, we look forward to the coming of it, the fullness. I so we can, we can sit back and the, 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 the rolls. The yeah. <laughs> Rolling, the, roll. The, we can roll. Yeah, we can roll together, you know? Yeah, man. The yeah. colors, the colors yeah, of Juju. Yeah, 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 <laughs> we'll yeah, we'll yeah. see all the colors. Yes. Blessed love, my brethren. Give thanks, I. Always good to have you on our stage, my friend. Oh, bless you. And the next time, I forgot to touch some performance, you know, like I did the last time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that was great, man. Definitely. All right, so there you have him in the segment, Julian Marley on our stage. And stay with us still to come. Sing the icon, the first lady of reggae, Marcia Griffiths. You don't want to miss that. Coming up. On stage's Reggae Month feature, Sing the Icon, is brought to you in part by the Ministry of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport and by Red Stripe Tall Boss, the same red stripe now available in another size. Welcome to another in our series, Sing the Icon, that engages two established recording artists in an exciting sing-off of the gems of a reggae icon. The icon we're singing today is Marcia Griffiths, whose career spans over 60 years, making her the longest lasting, most consistently relevant female artist in the history of reggae. As a member of the I3, led by Bob Marley, Marcia was a core participant in reggae's global onslaught. As a soloist, Marcia's electric boogie not only hit the billboard charts, the record also spawned an eternal global dance craze, the electric slide. It's electric. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Today we sing Jamaica's first lady of reggae, Marcia Griffiths, CD. And the two artists doing the honors are Nadine Sutherland and Itana. Right now, right here on our stage. Ladies. Okay, so there you have them. Nadine Sutherland and Itana on our stage to sing one of the greatest, if not the greatest ever, recording artist in reggae as a female, Marcia Griffiths. Okay, ladies, to you first, Nadine. Um, what does Marcia mean to you? How do you see Marcia Griffiths in our music? When I was a young girl growing up in Above Rocks, mm -hmm. the artist that I looked up to, the, the artists was the I3 mm -hmm. and also, and Marcia Griffiths, who is a part of the I3, of course. Um, when I was, I used to sing her songs all the time before. I, 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 yesterday when I was rehearsing and I sang Melody Life, I kind of got a little bit teary because I remember young Nadine Sutherland singing Melody Life. I never even envisioning that I would be, you know, singing, you know, as a soloist, but also singing in tribute to Marcia Griffiths. So it's such an honor for me to do this for the queen of reggae, of course. Oh, nice. Yes. And Itano, same question. She's a beautiful soul. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. She is the kind of person you can sit down and talk to for hours, which I have done. Mm -hmm. um, hours, like really, you know, and um, I've never seen a more beautiful soul in reggae music like Marcia Griffiths. Okay. So you're ready to sing her, right? Long time. Yes. Right now, so. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Nadine Sutherland and Itana singing the reggae icon, Marcia Griffiths. faith oh your reward shall be great and now i see the day when i'm stepping 
out of Babylon in New Jerusalem, in Mount Zion. Stepping out of Babylon in New Jerusalem, in Mount Zion. Stepping out of Babylon one by one, stepping in Mount Zion. Stepping out of Babylon one by one, stepping in Mount Zion. Stepping, stepping, stepping out of Babylon. Stepping, stepping, stepping out of Babylon.
I'll have to ask you later What have you got in mind? But I see the fire burning It's getting hotter and hot The hands will wanna be In the shoes of the hat But if you are in pretense, you are on the wrong side of the fence. Oh, oh, oh. feel the fire burning. I got fire burning, burning, burning. Feel the fire burning. Another time I had envisioned right in front of my eyes. Sisters, prostituting, selling away their lives. on top just rape themselves the best but i see the fire's burning it's getting hotter and hot the hands will wanna be in the shoes of the head notch and if the sign is on your door then you will be safe for sure but if you are in pretend you are on the wrong The queen call up people if you're not with one, you're rock and come in. Fire burning, burning, feel the fire burning. Fire burning, 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 feel the fire burning. Fire burning, 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 feel the fire burning. Fire burning, 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 feel the fire burning. <laughs> After the break, a finale you don't want to miss. On Stage with Winford Williams. On Stage's Reggae Month feature, Sing the Icon, is brought to you in part by the Ministry of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport and by Red Stripe Tall Boss. The same red stripe now available in another size. Griffiths, oh beautiful queen. Yeah. <laughs> Flick the switch and turn you. it on and give us our favorite number one song. Oh.
DJ Shaka. Performances coming up in New York and in Washington, so I'm looking forward to that. New songs coming out, but this is a moment um, that I just want want to cherish because for years I have just like looked up to this woman. So it's just an honor for me to be doing this for her. Now my father is here also because you know we used to tour together with Juju and and Auntie Marcia. Nice. So this is a full circle moment for me, and I'm I'm just very honored and very proud. To be standing so here beside it will be her. New York, your next, the next place will, where fans can see you in the flesh. Washington and then New York, right. and then there are a lot more gigs coming, and I'll be singing and dancing and wind up myself as usual. <laughs> okay. I'm sure they're looking forward to this after this moment. They want to see you, see you soon. And the town of you, where, where, where do you go from here now? Oh, I have uh, May 14th first. Um, it's a Father's Day event, right? Is it May 14th? May 14th is a Father's Day event in Hope Gardens here in Jamaica. Um, and there are several other dates coming up that I don't want to start listing them all because I don't want to forget somebody. But I know that I have to definitely speak of that one on May 14th. There, I'm, my, my tour starts in February and goes all the way until August. So the dates will be posted. Everybody can see it on Instagram and Facebook and everywhere else on social media. And Queen Marcia, where can your fans see you next? Wow. You know, people would be surprised to know at my age, I am I'm just beginning. Yeah. yeah, because I have so many dates lined up. 
my itinerary extends until the end of December. Oh, wow. You don't even know where to start. What age? Yeah. What age? What are you talking about? <laughs> We're talking about 16. It's not showing. We're talking about 16 with a bullet. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but it's not showing. The, you know what shows? The, the, the beautiful inner you. It, what shows is all your well, positive that's, energy. That's the most what shows is yeah. all the great works that you've done over the I years know. that it has inspired so many, including myself. So thank you for all your works and stay as beautiful as you are. It all boils down to humility and what is inside. It's a reflection of what you see on the outside. Right. Yes. Thank you I believe so much. That. I've seen it. Thank you. And thank you, yeah, Marcia, thank you. for your wonderful contribution to our existence, to our, our cultural, yeah. international product, reggae. Well, what can I say? God is good. And, you all know, the time. All the time. And I just want to thank him for preserving me 69 years in the business this year. And I am truly thankful, you know, and I know that this is a blessing. And I will continue to keep the fire burning, to touch souls, to teach and to educate and to uplift through the medium of the music. Absolutely. Uh, amen. Amen to that. Yeah, the fire is still blazing in Marcia Griffiths after 60 years. And this is where we say so long. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, right here on our stage, thanking you for joining another Sing the Icon. See you next week, right back here on this stage. Bless. Thanks for watching our video. Please click subscribe and be on our stage anywhere, anytime, always.